here at 10 o'clock. He's getting hounded by debt collectors, but he's not the person they are looking for. Can you stop a debt collector from calling? Let's call on Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier to find out. Roll started working when he was 12. You can imagine how he felt about retiring. It's good. Uh, I have time to do things I never had time before. Good thing he has extra time for things like checking a phone that keeps ringing. There it is. <laughs> Calls coming in all the time. We're calling you regarding a legal business matter attached to your name. No, this is not Dominic. All the callers are from collection agencies. I have there's a business claim against your name that requires your immediate attention. Looking for a fella named Dominic. I tell him, please, uh, my name is Raul. I am not Dominic. You're calling the wrong person. You've been calling the wrong person. For five, that's right, five years, the collection agencies, which like to call themselves mediation firms, have called looking for Dominic. Raul has tried blocking them. But they have so many numbers. Even though I block, I keep getting 833, 844, 305, 786. Uh, I mean, the combinations are endless. He's tried to explain they have the wrong person. I am an old retired person and I don't owe anyone anything. I don't have a mortgage. I don't owe anybody. He did some research and thinks he found the Dominic they're looking for. He's in North Miami and he has a very similar telephone number to mine, except two digits are backwards. But the debt collectors didn't say thank you. They weren't that polite. And sometimes they get a little uh, threatening and it is urgent and there's going to be legal action and before we send the uh, cops after you and this and that. Of course the cops don't come and Raul is amazed at the bill collector's incompetence, all of them chasing the wrong guy for years. And the person you want is not getting any of these messages. You're just wasting time and, and resources. But they don't listen and don't stop calling. Please press one to be connected. I can another call. It is a nuisance. Roll's a smart guy who's tried everything. So Howard, legally, how can you stop debt collectors? Whether you're the actual debtor or the wrong person like Raul, your rights are the same. Tell them not to call you. If they will give you an address, send them a letter telling them to leave you alone. But a lot of these debt collectors do not follow the law. If that happens to you, file a complaint with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. I contacted three of the debt collection companies Raul said were calling him, Apex, Meridian Financial, and Cornell and & Associates. I explained they were calling the wrong person. They all agreed to delete his number and stop calling. I asked for their address to send them a letter. They said they couldn't release it for security reasons. I hope now with uh, Patrick calling them, the uh, They'll finally stop. Hopefully when Raul's phone rings now, it'll be from family and friends after his quick call to help me, Howard. It's absolutely great to, to have somebody that, that pursues the, the problems and really looks for a solution. You're right, Raul. It's easy to point out the problem. At Help Me Howard, we try to solve it. As far as the debt collectors, there may be many more after that guy, Dominic, so it may be a few days before Raul can notify the rest of them to back off. Also, the links Howard mentioned on tips to stop collectors or file a complaint against them are at WSVN.com under this Help Me Howard story. Problems got your ears ringing? Don't want to just phone it in? Let us collect some solutions so you won't be indebted to anyone. This is Help Me Howard and Patrick Frazier, 7 News.